How's it going guys? It's Devin here with Make Anything. Although in today's video, I'm not actually making anything. So you can kind of consider this a bonus video. But last week, I printed out a bunch of Sphericons. And I think the star of the show was this Astrolabicon puzzle that I designed. Since last week, I swapped out the marbles in here for some that fit a little bit better. So now this thing works really well. It's super workable. And a lot of you wanted me to send this thing to Chris Ramsey and have him try to solve it. And I'm a big fan of his channel, so I would totally send him one. But I was also like, hey, I have my own channel. Why don't I try to solve it? So that's what this video is about. I'm gonna scramble up this Astrolabicon and see if I can solve it in one sitting tonight. I have no idea how easy or difficult this might be. So uh, yeah, we should probably stop talking and start solving. Let's switch to the overhead and get this thing started. Cool. All right, so here's the Astrolabicon puzzle. Right now it's in the solved state. So this is basically how I wanna end the puzzle with all the colors grouped together and split up like this, which means to start out, I'm gonna have to mess it up. What's unique about this puzzle is that it has this Astrolabicon position where all the marbles move together and that can switch into moving the other direction. And then there's also this position right here where the three tracks move independently. So uh, I'm hoping there's some kind of formula and it's not just random guesswork because otherwise I might not solve it tonight. I'm gonna mix it up. I'm not gonna pay attention right now. Just trying to get some good randomness going. All right, there we go. That's a pretty random looking puzzle. Mixed up for a couple minutes, that should be good. So, in that classic Chris Ramsey fashion, I'm gonna get a timer going. All right, let's begin. First off, I'll explain that uh, basically there's a small loop and then there's this larger loop on each half. These little ones can hold three marbles, like that. The larger one can hold six. Um, that's about all I know so far. To start things out, I'm just gonna try to get one group of colors together, and that should be pretty easy. I figure this state right here, where you have the three independent tracks, that's gonna be a big part of solving this. Because see, I can just line this up here, line that up there, pop that in, and then I got another blue in the group. There, we got four together, you know? Let's see, I can go like this. Uh, see, I can only move three together at a time. I'm gonna lose one blue, but if I can put these blues here and put those there, I can get, there we go, five in a row. There's this channel that holds six. So that means I can put all five of these in here and move them together. Go back to this state. Where's that last blue? Oh, it's right there, so, um, hmm. So I found a position where the blue is on the left side here and the other ones are on the right side, so. Oh no, then those get, get lost, but I can push this in here. Let's see if I move it one and then move it back up. I've got five and one alone again. Hmm. We got all the blues together, hey. Okay, everything else is still in total disarray. The tricky thing in here is I can focus on one side and easily group colors together like that. But while I'm doing that, things are happening on the bottom. So I kind of have to be aware of everything, I guess. Let's see. Maybe I'll just try to get individual colors together. Oh, interesting. Okay. I think I figured something out. Basically, uh, I want to be on the left side here because when I switch positions, that puts these on the back of this tail. So that's how I, uh, and kind of get all the greens together. <laughs> the blues are separated again, but at least, you know, I'm getting better groups. I'm getting closer, like not all different colors. They're kind of staying in, in groups of some sort. If this is all it takes, it'll actually be pretty easy. Blues are together, and we've only got one stray black. So we're moving towards order. Go like this, go like this. Yellows are together. Wait, we're missing one. Oh gosh. So this kind of reminds me of a Rubik's Cube where you have to 
do a set of moves and then kind of reverse it to get back to the original position minus having swapped some colors. That's gonna be the tricky part here. Boom, oh, no. <laughs> it's really hard not to backtrack here. That's what I'm starting to feel like. Yeah, that's the thing. You, you, you work on one and the others get messed up. I definitely need to do some kind of swapping. I need to figure out a swapping move. One, two, three, four. Is that the move? No, because that messed up those ones. Because everything moves together. Oh, the scary thing is sometimes with these puzzles, you have to go backwards in order to go forwards. So I know when I make a move, I'm gonna have to push it. It's gonna move this, so maybe I wanna move this back one. Those will stay together, but now I can do this, I can move this over, and I can move it back and still have those yellows in there. It's something, that's worth something, it's gotta be. The problem is once you have one group together, you don't wanna take them apart again, but Maybe I do want to focus on keeping those together as a way to figure out how to not disrupt things so much. Like, how do I have this separate and then come back? I can do that, I can do that, yeah. Let's try to get the blues next to the black without messing up the black. How do we do that? We can do this, there we go, That's those are still together. Now this can go like this. Ooh. That was pretty good. That was pretty, we got all the blues and all the blacks. But now there's a green in here. I want them touching. I want them together and touching. Okay, hold on. Let's think here, let's think. This is bad, this is bad. That guy, how do I get that guy out without messing up the rest? I don't know if that's what I want to focus on. I don't know if it's a terrible idea to just get half of it done because then how do I get the rest done without messing it up? But I'm trying to make some kind of progress here. So I can inject this black one into here with my little technique. I can do that from this side or from this side. I kind of want to do it. Well, either way, it's going to split up the blues. So I can also go from this side or from this side. So I can have it like that or like that. But I'm going to try to keep the blues in threes at least. Oh no, oh no, the blues are lost. Okay, I was doing so well at keeping things together. How did I do all the blues? How did I get there when I was there? I almost feel like you have to be like symmetrically working on it from both sides. Seems very difficult. I did that again. Got all the blacks, all the blues. These are just alternating all the way through. I still don't know what I'm doing exactly, which is the scary part. This could quickly be undone. Things are gonna get easier. That's a pretty good ring. That's a pretty good ring, yeah. We still got this group of three, we got this group of three. We can actually bring those, oh, 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 oh. Progress. Six and six. Touching, ooh, that's good, okay, okay. That's exciting. The fact that these are touching might be bad. Maybe I'd want them on opposite sides, that way I can save both of them. Because now one of them's gonna have to break up with every move. I think, oh yeah, I'm like almost one move away, I think. My hope has been restored. Let's see, let's see. Hmm, yeah, this is where things slow down, because I don't want to make a dumb mistake. If I get all groups of threes, I think that'll be a real big step. Because threes, you can always keep threes together, right? Because every channel can hold at least three. So we got a group of four here. If we switch, if we get this one over here, I think we can solve this. 
Oh, is this it? No. See, they're still always on the same side. I just need to get one on one side and two on the other side. Maybe I need to get the blue and there. Well, this is good. Blue, uh, is it good? I don't know anymore. Oh, I'm so close, but I, I, I'm kind of still working from intuition. I can't say I know the formula, but I think I'm, I'm probably doing something. I'm probably following some kind of pattern without realizing it. I think, I think I might have an idea, but it could ruin things. But I gotta, I gotta do something, right? Let's see. What was I thinking? I already forgot. Getting back to the threes, I have a feeling I'm gonna end up in the same exact situation, but the fact that I can kind of work towards this order somewhat reliably, it's giving me some comfort again. Oh, 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 no. The threes have to be touching each other, otherwise it's all offset and that just makes it not ever get more organized. Oh, remember that time when I was so close? <laughs> Memories. Let's see, three, 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 three. Maybe, can I just... That's interesting. I could position them opposite of each other. Oh, so we're kind of, we've got something going on. We've got that dichotomy, the quantum. Both sides have to be doing the same thing, just like on opposite sides. So this, for example, if this is here, let's think symmetry. Let's start getting geometrical. Let's do some one, two, three. Oh. It's a quantum puzzle. Is it? Okay, um, but we do have threes, three. So we got that, that. We're very close. We're very close. We got, we got a, a dichotomy. It's the dichotomy. Just keep doing it, keeping these together. And now we're just working on here. Will that work? <gasps> Rotate. What if I just do one at a time like this? Oh, 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 oh threes, I got the group of threes. I know it. I know it. I did it! Quantum puzzle. Holy cow, you guys. I, I really can't believe I did this. I, I'll be honest, I was pretty stressed out the whole time, but just getting it done is so satisfying. It's so worth it now, now that I actually did it. But hey, that's awesome. I just proved that this is in fact a viable puzzle. It took me two and a half hours to solve, which is a pretty good amount of time to spend on a puzzle. So that's pretty great. Honestly, I usually give up on puzzles pretty quickly. So this might be the most difficult puzzle I've personally solved. Not to say it's super difficult. I think someone who is more experienced with puzzles has to actually figure out how difficult this is on the range of puzzle difficulty. But for me, hardest puzzle I've ever done. <laughs> As I mentioned in my SphereCon video, the files for this puzzle are up on my mini factory. If you have a 3D printer, you can download it for free and print this thing out. If you don't have a printer, I'll put the files on Shapeways. You can print them there and assemble everything yourself. Or if you wanna buy one of these fully assembled, I will be putting together a, a small batch in the near future. So keep an eye out on my store where I'll have those for sale. And if you're subscribed, I'll put out an announcement on the YouTube community uh, page. But yeah, Astrolabicon puzzle. I'm gonna say it's legendary. <laughs>
Anyways, thanks for watching guys. It was definitely something different for my channel, so I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks to Chris Ramsey for the inspiration. Definitely check out his puzzle solving videos. If you enjoyed this, you'll love those. And uh, Chris, if you're watching this, hit me up. I'll make you a more difficult version of this, and I want to see you solve that. Well, that's all I've got to say, so I'll leave it at that. Until next time, I'm Devin. This is Make Anything. Don't forget to stay inspired. <laughs> this thing drove me nuts. <laughs>